Super Android Man, Super Iron Man, kind of Iron Man with Superman in it or something. <laughs> this is cool. It's an AI image, right? Superman. And he's like metallic and silver with armor, like Iron Man armor. So I have to draw it. It's been on my desktop sitting here looking at me for months. So I'm going to draw it today. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pause if I go too fast. Set his eyes, particularly the eyebrows. So his head will be in the top half, right? Center point of my page is here. And the head will be in that top half. And the rest will be shoulders and the S symbol. So, very basic eyes, I think. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Eyebrow first. Spike going that way, right? And the eyebrows are kind of bumpy, comic book style, right? Kind of like lightning. And they go across his eye this way. So that typical sort of Marvel DC eyebrow shape. And we'll go same on this side, right? Well, roughly the same. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. It goes up this way. And back there. And then we put a few kinks in it going that way. And up. Down the back. Right. Make that one a bit pointier that way. And he has there's an extra line coming off the top here. We're going to give him a nose line coming down the middle. Okay, so the reason I went with the eyebrows first is because he's like, his head is incredibly leaning forward, okay, and his eyes come out from underneath. So his eyelid line is about here, his top eyelid line. And this is drawn sort of animation style, so we just add these thick black eyelid lines here. And the corner of it comes down like that okay and then the bottom eyelid line just comes around underneath open to the corner there okay and he's looking up underneath and then the pupil half circle underneath there right and they don't draw in much else but we will because we can lines underneath his eyes are always cooler than not. I'm going to colour in his eyebrow black as well because it'll make more sense if you see it that way. Yeah, I'll do this one as well. Right, so his other eye. There, and then across here. Down. Right, and then this just kind of goes the way home. Iris then, half circle. He looks angry, basically. And then the pupil just underneath. And we're gonna go a bit of an eyebrow and eyelid lines and stuff. And he does have like a brow sort of area there. Okay. Cool sort of uh, classic comic book eyes, I would say. So for the nose, all they do is a V, right? So they just do this kind of V sort of shape. Sometimes I've seen they like to add a nostril, like 
coming around like that. And then his mouth is real flat, so it just goes. Across like so. And it's kind of it's kind of got a little bit of a gap here. And then sort of bends down. Like that, right? So it's like underneath his eye. And then the bottom lip. Square. And then the chin fairly square. Down here. Now, so you'll notice now this whole space is bigger than this. It's probably twice the size because his head is his head is leaning forward. So to create that illusion that this is coming towards you, like his forehead is coming towards you, this eyebrow to the nose is like twice the size of nose to the chin. It's just something to keep in mind when you're drawing a character leaning forward. This space is like much smaller half the size nearly of this whole area okay and of course the more you like make the say if you like brought your if you put your mouth further down your chin further down you know it'll sort of make it look like he's not leaning forward as much so it's just something if anyone's interested in that kind of stuff so his jaw then comes out the side and the reason I'm not going so far is because he's got these robot things on the side of his face. Right? So he's got these glowing blue, cool sort of clips on the side of his face, right? So I'm going to like put a line that way. And then these will go up towards his ear that way, right? And his ear is kind of level with his eyes. So this kind of comes onto his face, and then there's another section here, right? And then his sort of cheekbone would be here. And it goes underneath his hair on this side, but you can still see a good bit of it. Okay, and then, so I want to make this look sort of three-dimensional, and I'm going to give it a bit of an edge. And, like, there's a glowing blue section at the front. So this section here is, like, glowing blue. So I want to highlight that. Okay. Very smooth skin, then. Nothing else apart from his cheekbones on that face. So his sideburn, you can see just here, right, like right beside his eyebrow. So his black sort of hair, and then it like zigzags its way up like that. His fringe comes over his face on this side, so you can't really see it as much. But you can see his ear here. So like say his hairline goes this way. You could go the whole way in a raised stuff, but I'm going to just stop where his eye kind of starts, and that's where his fringe comes in. So we'll draw the ear. Just down there. You notice now the ears are higher up on the head because we got that head tilt as well. Just giving that illusion of perspective. Right, and then like ear lines inside. Like that. And you can see his other ear kind of, there's hair, but should be here but there's all hair here and then the sort of side of his head this is all sort of hair sections and everything just coming up that way so the fringe so we'll go around like so Right, sort of spiking back around and then there'll be like hair texture lines in underneath and then his hair sort of waves this way 
So the parrot in his hair is like here. And the top of the head will look quite big because it's coming towards us as well. So we've got more of that perspective, that leaning perspective stuff going on. Right, so like it's all bumping and coming across here, right? And it'll start to get wavy on the side here. So we'll do that. We'll go fringe. Spikes and hair spikes. All sort of sticking out from here. Right, so you'll see the direction now. You can make more sense of it. And then his ear, similarly, kind of sticking out. Go the top of it will be like here somewhere. And we just fill this with hair because we can't really see much of his ear inside. And there's all hair that sticks out the bottom and everything. Right, then keep going. So we got like more hair spikes sticking out here. And that's all black, kind of. Like so, right, next. So, his neck, right? So he's got like a pretty wide neck. So we'll go all the way down from sort of here. And it's all robotic sort of sort of machinery kind of a thing right and there's a collar that comes around the front right and then down to a v back up to there and then there's like what you would call neck muscles but they're just wires and stuff Right, all here. Right, and when you're doing sort of robots or like metallic things, coloring in some, some parts sort of black does help. Like adding some shadows and stuff. And then sort of curving around his Adam's apple here. Right, so then that color sort of comes out from back here then. We got like an edge to it. And this cape is in here as well. So his cape comes down the middle. So you like want to break it up into all these different sort of shapes and 
metallic lines and like pieces of armor and everything which absolutely loads it will sort of keep it a bit simpler than what i can see right so now his cape comes along his body like his his shoulder and his chest right so it kind of sits on his back but it like comes around his shoulder right so on fabric bumps normally like this right okay and that'll go hang down and we can see it blowing sort of this way a bit so on this side bump it again and it comes across his chest and back into that arrow in the middle okay so we're pretty symmetrical now so we'll get our main structure in and then we'll add detail so chest armor we'll go out here okay it doesn't have to be exactly the same on both sides because it's kind of like a crazy android look right and there's all shadows and stuff inside here so his body more or less kind of hinges in this way right so it's like chest armor and then like ribs and stuff and it all goes down there let me meet his bicep it like connects with his bicep kind of sort of here right and then this big shoulder bumps that way down right and then the tricep bumps that way we we'll do the same thing over here so we'll go right your shoulder generally is that shape but of course he's superman so it's like and it's armor and everything so it's much wider than normal down to there okay so armor and shadows and all sorts of things so let's give this a go on the crest and everything start with the crest in the middle I think and then add details so coming right across the chest here we're gonna have the top of his S symbol right and this will go diagonal then right and then we go down right and that s inside so it's got like a red edge but the edge is joined to the s right so it's complicated enough so the major curve of it we go like that right So this is kind of connected to the the rim, so like the edge of it, right? So like here, and then our the inside of the S goes this way, right? And then around, and then we curve down. Oh, there's lots of different ways of doing this now. And then like the in the bottom of it, like will be here. So you can just sort of make it out now. And they do another sort of area here to keep the shape going. That joins that. And then a bit of a yellow thing here. And then here. Now it looks like inside the crest is like a reactor. It's got like all fire inside here. So that'll be cool to color. Okay. 
Now, easiest way to do this, all this armor. So we're gonna start breaking everything up into plates, basically, right? So you're gonna go like plate here, blue glowing light here, and you just keep going, right? So you just start like angles, Right, you're just gonna start. And it's not even both sides. You would think it will be, but the way this is drawn, it's not. So a nice trick I always use is edge lines, especially on metallic things like that. Right, we just keep building adding lines right and like even shadows and stuff especially along this edge there's a lot of them So lots of these are like rib cages that come in from there. That's like his bicep. And then we just sort of keep breaking this all up into different armor shapes. Right, kind of like that. And then some of it's like glowing and stuff. So there's all different sort of angle lines and everything. So his shoulder then, it's kind of cool as well, right? So there's kind of like a circle here. Right, and it's here as well. It's like a joint or something. And then it has another circle inside, like the top of it. And then another one going around here. And then this comes down for the armor part. Like so, right? And then we have another sort of dark armor section there. That's all broken up into different details and stuff as well. But we've got like another sort of bicep armor plate just beside this one right a big one and then a tricep one going that way and there's all wires and stuff all inside here so we'll do something similar on this side like so and then we we'll go up like for the shoulder sort of area there and then we're broken up into sort of tricep and bicep okay and what we want to do is add some like edge lines to all this kind of stuff and some inside lines and everything and it's kind of like organic it's not too rigid you know it's flowing sort of there's like a blue light here there's like an edge line to that armor And then this is all has all connectors and some of that some of that be like colored black and all this and there's like a box here and loads of sort of wires and things 
coming across like it's like muscle fibers it's as if they wanted it to be looking like muscle fibers and stuff here you know and like dark shadows and stuff in certain areas do does help say like and then like some edge lines to this stuff right so it's all like broken up like that right and it's quite dark inside all these Right, so then lines there. Sorry now for the noise in the background. My kids are fighting. There's some lines there, circles and stuff all on his biceps. You're just kind of copying the other side and you're adding like texture lines and boxes and metallic lines and everything just to sort of fill up the space and all that, right? And you just keep going until you're sort of happy with how things look, basically. Right, so do 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 do. There's like more wires and everything here, and dark shadows and stuff in some of these spaces. And then cross here, coming across his chest as well. All like, like wires and different connectors and lights, blue lights, mostly bright blue. It's like there's all the energy coming out from the from the chest going down his arms and stuff, you know. And say like black shadow. And you can add more black shadow or less around all these things. It just makes some things look deeper than others, you know. That's like the receding into his body. Kind of a thing. And of course you could keep building it up. For hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way that looks now, I think. And you would add like shading and all stuff like that to it then. I will anyway. So we'll go cape. Going down that way. Red sort of cape there. Just like Maybe I want it to be raining. It's raining in that picture. I need my ruler. Where's my ruler? Um, okay, I've decided for it to be raining. And so like when, when a raindrop hits his body, it's a useful thing to know, right? So if you do a raindrop there, little dots that go out like that makes it look like it's like splashing, right? So if we did like, and like, you know, you'll have a drip coming off the body here. Okay. 
Let's see, you want to do like rain. And I'm just going to fill this up with rain. And yeah, I think that'll do. Super Iron Man. Don't know what to call it. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.